Hello, Hello Martin. How are you, sir? Oh, this is great. Isn't this nice? <laughs> I know. I'm like, this is my new favorite one. This is beautiful in here. Yeah, and I love the way this is set up like this in here. Hey, guys. Good afternoon and welcome to Find Out Fridays. We are just getting set up here in Skokie. We have Martin and Tabrin and Heidi with us. So we are excited to be here with you, Emily. Emily, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Wayne Beals for a second. I don't know why, because <laughs> he's amazing. So who do we have with us? Oh, we got a great group online. And I have some surprises for you today. Everybody likes surprises, right? <laughs> Josh, what's going on? Josh has got a good beat going somewhere. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> it's bouncing around in his seat. There he goes. Hey, what's up? what's going on, my friend? All right, guys. Hello, Abraham. Hello. I'm going to see Abraham tomorrow in person. Um, he and I are going to be doing a showing together with a client. So we're doing some shadowing. Not that I have anything that amazing that I'm doing, but I do like to share when I can. So for you guys that are in here, we're going to get our cast going right here in Skokie. Yay. All right. So everybody at home, we'll see what we see in just a moment as well. All right, so guys, we have a couple of cool announcements for you today. The first big one I am going to share with you right here as we start. Um, I have been, if you didn't get a chance to watch the webinar with me and Eleni yesterday, you missed us talking about what we are going to be doing with uh, Wise Agent. So catch that webinar if you can. If you have not caught the webinar from Marky, it was absolutely amazing. Martin, so, or Martin and... Uh, Tavern, wave to the camera, please. <laughs> so guys, what are we doing today? Wise Agent, let's start off with that. So I know I told uh, a few of you that uh, we were gonna be working on your letter of the heart. And I kind of wanted to backtrack slightly on that and get us into kind of what mindset I want you to be thinking of for the next week and a half. And what is the next week and a half? You are rolling into the Thanksgiving holiday. So we have some really great things going on for the Thanksgiving holiday. The first one, the big one, if you have not been inviting people to this, please go ahead and get started inviting people to the event on Monday evening. So we have two pieces to the event on Monday evening. There is the first part. And again, thank you to Lana Ryling and Victoria for setting this up. Uh, some of you remember we met Terry uh, from Soleil Energy back in, I think, May, Tabron or Martin, were you with that, either one of you? I can't remember. Um, but it was really meant for agents. And in the meantime, what's happened out in the real world is that we had the um, big uh, congressional act that gave a huge amount of new incentives. Uh, and there's some state incentives as well. I was uh, on, the, on a Zoom with Terry's team and Lana and Victoria yesterday. And so that is Monday night. 5 p.m. is the agent portion of that. So if you need to invite agents to that, of course, the text code is always works. And then if you forget um, how to do that, you can also always just go to my little team library page, this link tree, which has hints of that because it says attend Nick's realtor training events. And that is always our money Mondays and all our other office events that we do here um, at our office or offices and all the different events. So you've got that event uh, on Monday night and you've got, if you ever want to tell an agent from somewhere else what we do, you can click on the past events and there's a ton of different events that we've done because nobody's doing what we're doing right now. So we're not sharing this uh, video at this point today. We might post this later. Um, then you also have, of course, the rest of the event is the consumer portion of it. And that is the big piece of from 5.30, and really it's probably gonna start at six so they can have some networking. Um, all of our office events, the upcoming and the past one are listed on the consumer page for our Eventbrite. So there is that event, the consumer focused portion of it. And then you have 66 past events that you can show your uh, clients what we do here at our company. So this is really proof in the pudding of what we're all about health, wellness, personal finance, charity and community, and of course, 
duh, we're realtors, right? So that's piece one. The second piece that's going to be coming to you is that uh, similarly, we have another consumer event next weekend. So if you guys remember, we have the, um, uh, what do they call that? Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me go back and look at our consumer events in the past. Um, the two free tickets to the Artesian Market. We have the Artesian Market again next weekend, um, both Saturday and Sunday. So right after Thanksgiving, what a nice thing to be leading up into Thanksgiving and say, we've got the solar thing on Monday night. We have the uh, two free tickets to the Chicago Artesian Market. And again, the upcoming Artesian Market will have that revised graphic and the Eventbrite link for you so that you can go ahead and start sending that out to people. So what we're talking about today is really, again, as seems like we lead into so much directly related to your consumer engagement, um, you need to figure out who you want to be reaching out to for the holiday season, because the Thanksgiving holiday is so huge for all of us. So I want to go into my um, uh, my personal wise agent for a second, and I want to show you my categories, because these are the people that I'm going to be reaching out to, to wish them a happy Thanksgiving. And so again, you can do it with a cheesy graphic, you can do it with an event, you can do it with a video, I don't care how you reach out to all your people, but you need to reach out to every single person in that database, really focused on the big, I would say the big four, and what are the big four, if you look at my contacts, um, and again, I've got recruiting and other weird categories in there, so ignore those. But the ones that I have that I think you should have as well, you don't have to put your name in front of it. I just did that for training purposes, is general sphere. What is your general sphere? That's everyone that you can't figure out what other category to put them in. That's everybody that hasn't bought through you, isn't sending you business, isn't a vendor. It's kind of the catch-all category. A big, big category for all of us. So I have Martin in the room who's been in the room, been in the business. How many years now, Martin? Three. 30 years. So he's bested me by five and a half years. Mary Petrie was here at Skokie last week. She's been in the business 30 years. These people know a lot more than I do, and they probably have a lot more client, past clients, but the struggle is, what do you say to them? Well, guess what? It's Thanksgiving. You don't have to say anything except Happy Thanksgiving and how are you? Uh, remember the conversation, the acronym FORD from Core Training, Family, Occupation, Recreation, Dreams. That is that right there. All your past clients need a touch from you. So I've got a lot of work to do over the next week to get those touches out. And so do you. So past clients, then your potential buyers, your potential buyers, they all would, don't you think they'd like to be checked in with too, or at least wish them a happy Thanksgiving. If you're in some sort of relationship with a buyer, go look in your Zen list and see how many people um, are in there. Every single one of those people needs a touch. Tabron, do you know how many people are in your Zen list right now? Just over 200, 200 potential buyers. That's amazing. Natasha Murphy has a ton. You know, I get the list of the numbers that you have in there. I can't see who they are. It's none of my business, but um, some of you have just blown that out of the park and some of you um, have turned it on, I think would be the best term. And so this is uh, gonna be a moment here for a second that I do want to announce something uh, important. As you're looking at this list and you, maybe you're saying, well, I need help getting wise agents synced up. Um, or I don't know what Zenlist is, or, you know, Nick, I probably should have reached out two months ago, but I didn't. I've said this a couple of times recently, and I'm looking in the camera. Um, I'm not going to track you down. You're grown. However, I want you to know that we're, I'm here for you. And even though I send a daily dose and I'm like, what can I do to help you? When can I meet you? Um, where can we, you know, assist you in any way? we are going to start to personally reach out to you. And so Tabron is in the background. Um, he didn't know he was gonna be on camera, but he is, gonna, he is on camera, surprise sucker. Um, so we have decided uh, as I continue to, I don't wanna say transition out of the sales side of it, but really refer out a lot of what I'm working on and send it to you, you guys. And again, that's not gonna feed you, but that could be some dessert. Um, I kind of have less for Tabron to do. And Tabron has been on, um, you know, he's, he is on a, a wage with me. It's probably not what he wants, but it's something in addition to him being an agent here and was nominated for rookie of the year from Chicago agent magazine. It was a finalist for that. So Tabron, we've decided because I'm, I'm really focusing more on you guys. He is going to be reflective of that. And so we are promoting him to director of agent engagement. 
so that uh, you obviously have an amazing support staff, Laura, uh, who has done all of your orientations. Um, she will obviously be continuing to do that. And we have her stepping up to the plate to do more, as obviously, you know, four locations to make sure they're running great and that we have what you need. Uh, so she has her hands full with that. And she's going to continue to be helping you on the way in. But once you're here, I'm creating content. I'm trying to build these relationships with these outside vendors that we have that are, you know, sometimes sending us leads, sometimes giving us better home warranties, blah, blah, blah. All these things that I'm trying to do for you. I think you need some extra touches from us. And if I'm creating the content and I'm in these recruiting meetings and these coaching meetings, I don't think I'm doing the best job of reaching out to you to go, what do you need? Because I think some of you aren't reading my daily dose where I'm pleading with you to come talk to me. So Tabern is going to be reaching out to you. Um, sometimes it'll be just, hey, congratulations. Uh, and Angela is going to be doing this as well, as far as congratulations to the cappers. Uh, Adriana is going to be working more on our social media. She just tagged everybody earlier this week in a post for all the cappers that are out there. But, you know, the top 10 for the month, things like that, that I just am not getting done. I really want to work with the staff. And so Tabern is going to be working with you. If you are lost, if you need help, you know, obviously I'm your first point of contact for tools, technology, coaching. I want to help you make your phone ring more. That is going to be now more than ever. However, I want, sometimes we are going to track you down because there are some of you, and it's probably no one on this call that needs this. Uh, it's the people that we don't see on the Zooms, that we don't see in person, that we don't hear from. We are going to be tracking you down or them down, I should say, since it's not you on the, on the Zoom, to find out what you need, make sure you understand what the resources are here. Because when I get on a Zoom or a in-person meeting with some of you that I haven't seen in a while, sometimes it my jaw drops and sometimes it does it like physically and other times I just like go home and have a nice glass of wine or four because I'm like man that sucks that they did not get engaged earlier so I take that personally I take a personal responsibility for that so we are going to invest more time into you and when I say you it's the people not on this call probably not on this zoom it's the people some of them that you've sponsored in some of them that other people have sponsored in some of them that just, you know, we really have lost touch. We are going to reach out to make sure you know where the fun stuff is, like the holiday party um, okay. and where the not so fun stuff is like, hey, you haven't turned on Wise Agent. Why is that? Why is it not syncing to your phone? What can we do to help? So Tavern's going to be reaching out. You obviously are going to be hearing from me annoyingly now more than ever. But when I send out a daily dose and I get no responses or I set up a training, because you asked for it and there's only the two or three people that said they needed it. Like, well, where's everybody else? I know not everybody's so happy with their earnings, right? So that's what we're working on. So what do you need help on besides that type of stuff? Let's go back into the rest of these categories here. Potential sellers. Now mine says zero. That's because all my sellers are either rented, sold under contract, or, you know, we need more. Um, that's where you should be looking at. Who did you do a CMA for? Everybody that I've done a CMA for in the last six months has been on is on the market, rented, sold, or hopefully under contract later today. Tabor and I are working on a deal for somebody. So what is who else? Your vendors. I would like you to reach out to all your vendors. There's a few of you that have really good relationships with your vendors, your attorneys, your lenders, your insurance people. Um, they should be sending you business. And they, I know they can't always because obviously everybody wants their business and you want their business and you're asking for it. But if you're not asking for it, if you're not in front of them and you're not asking them for help in terms of like maybe some stuff for an open house or a, you know, help with a direct mail campaign. One of our newer agents, not new to the industry, but new to us, we were talking about RSP Pro and the just sold campaign. And this is the first time somebody came up to it. I don't think Nick, uh, Nick G is on with us, but you know, he came to us from another exit office. He's, he was at another brokerage before that. And we have, re I've really enjoyed coaching with him. And, you know, he said, well, I want to do these postcards, but I've got a lender that says they'll split the cost with me. And I said, you know, I don't know if RSP pro even has something set up for that. Well, guess what? We found out that RSP pro has a two agent version of the just sold card. Like if there was supposed me and Tabor were co-listing, we could have put both of our pictures on it. I, of course, always wanted just mine. But you can go back in there with their help and you can create a the two agents. It's actually just you and the lender. I didn't know that. And nobody else had done that. And so through a coaching conversation, we did that. So your vendors, 
they need to they need a touch from you as well because that's a nice thing to do, but it's also smart business. VIPs, what's a VIP? And again, for some of you, this is not new. The VIPs, there is going to be something new. So for those, I see there's 11 of you on and you're some of you are like, I sit through this stuff every week. I know what these categories are. I've got them in there. Be quiet. V so the new ones, are the, those of you guys that are just needing to catch up, we're going to do finish this out and then we'll give you all something else new, not just the Tabor news. Here it is. VIPs are everybody that hasn't bought through you, hasn't sold through you, hasn't rented through you, but should be sending you business or already is. So your referral army. I have some really great examples of that. I have a friend that, and I actually used to say, he's never bought through me. He probably never will. Well, he did end up buying through me. So I'm not going to say the name, uh, but it took him almost 20 years. I've been friends with him. And, but he sent me all his business because he never thought he was going to buy. So interesting story there. Uh, VIPs should be reached out to, and you should have a good amount of them. So that is the whole list. I skipped over one accidentally. Potential renters. Um, Kiera from our office. Shoot, I spit out my gum. Look, Kiera with our office is amazing with renters. She and I are actually working on transitioning some of her messaging to also work with buyers. She has a really fantastic uh, TikTok page with like 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 views on some of her. And I'm like, or 50,000 likes. And I'm like, I can barely get a hundred likes on most of mine unless I'm yelling at Tabor's former employer when they did not <laughs> let me in for a tanning session. Some of you saw that TikTok, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, for that, for those of you that don't know what that is, just don't don't worry about it. But Kira, Kira working on changing her messaging. She's got her first buyer under contract. So congratulations to her. Um, but you need to still be talking to renters. Guess what? This year's renters are going to be next year or the year after's buyers. Um, I've proven that to myself so many years. And now that some of us are less busy, right? We have the time to have those conversations. Remember, Zenlist works for renters, buyers, also a great tool for sellers. Um, but it is a, it's a starting point. And if you close them down on that starting point and when they're renters, they will never be your buyer. They will never be your buyer. So all your potential renters need a little love too. So that is the reminders there. We will get to the letter of the heart, but I do want to show you one more thing first. In Wise Agent, something that has I've struggled with <clears throat> four months has been when I signed the contract with Wise Agent for our account, um, I did not realize kind of the way that the, I didn't think about the lead flow. And what I mean by that is, you have one landing page. You can you have unlimited landing pages, uh, the ability to create unlimited landing pages in Wise Agent, but only one can be turned on at a time. And so as I started coaching with some of you, Kiera was a good uh, reason for this. A uh, couple other people that I coach with regularly, I'm like, you know what? I just feel like you need two landing pages because there should be one for buyers and one for sellers because we're never going to combine the buyer's guide and the seller's guide. We're never going to really have the same conversation with a buyer as a seller. So I went to Eleni and we worked out a deal so that you now have two landing pages working at once. Because my goal for you is eventually all your items of value for buyers are on one beautiful landing page with lead capture. You can do what I call spray and pray all day. I talked about it yesterday on the webinar where you can just sit there and throw things out there. But if there's no lead capture, if there's no way to get their full name, cell phone number, email address, and probably their home address, especially if they're a seller, right? If you don't have items of value for them and then land a lead capture page, you're kind of dead in the water. They're, you're hoping that your message is so amazing. They reach out to you and that you are also hoping your organization and time management skills are so amazing and you're not that busy that you'll remember to dump, you'll data enter that stuff into your CRM. It's probably not going to happen because it's not happening for me after this almost 25 years in the business. So what Eleni and I did was we said, okay, let's turn on two landing pages that will be active per agent. I am going to build them out for you. So I'm going to give you a sample of that right now. This was my kind of first attempt at doing this. I'm sorry. Let's see. Uh, leverage with Libert. And 
here's what it, it here's a potential of what it could look like where you've got a you can have a picture a video um, all kinds of cool different things you can do in there some of you guys are doing really good tiktoks uh not just kira look at uh andrew coppins andy coppins from our office his tiktok is amazing tapering yours is great um tanya cochran or tanya stalker sorry tanya um that uh she has an amazing uh tiktok presence as well and i don't want to focus just on tiktok realize everything that goes on tiktok also is an instagram reel if you did that if you missed marky's training on that watch the video i sent you in the daily notes this morning and sign up for her series that's starting next tuesday so between money mondays with me and tuesdays with her and then a catch-up session every friday called find out fridays man guys i don't know how we can't get this together because it's the holiday season this is the time to be inviting people to stuff this is the time to clean up these databases so you have now the capability to have two landing pages and see where at the bottom it says first name last name email address mobile phone and address and then when they click on get resources now it takes them to my zen list my zen link i'm going to show you how to do that for this is what this will be a that you're going to have a buyer page and a seller page the seller page it's going to go straight from cloud cma cloud cma has a landing page that sends them all of the information on their area has anybody ever used the cloud cma lead capture feature where it's like oh they'll, it'll send them an area report have you guys ever oh look zero out of two i haven't done it in two years so zero out of three four four <laughs> none of us raised our hands in here we're not doing good in here uh emily either so what we want to do is i want to walk you through how to do those um i don't have a day on it yet next week because we already have so much on the calendar i don't want to um run past marky um i definitely don't want to overrun her we have money mondays with the solar in person uh which i will be recording that but i strongly advise you be there in person along with your clients and agent friends so we have a lot um i'm probably thinking that it may be like the money mondays after and i'll have it all built out but then do you guys want me to actually show you how to do it live do you think Put that in the chat, guys. If you would rather see me do it live and probably struggle through it a little bit. Um, you know, I built out a few of these on my own. This one actually worked out great. Um, this one, I have um, two people that we, that I worked with because of this landing page specifically. And then there's more. Are you guys bored yet? I hope not. Um, good. <laughs> Martin's like, nope. <laughs> Martin's been asking to come to this office for two months before we even had the way before we had the lease signed. I'm like, way before we had it signed. Um, so here's the deal. What I'm going to build with you after that. So we'll get the landing pages done. Automatically, the information goes into Wise Agent. They'll get an item of value. We've been talking a lot lately about items of values. They'll get, if they're a seller, your cloud CMA area report. If they're a buyer, they will get into Zenlist. And actually, as the seller, the way I'm going to build it out is it goes straight from this page into um, the uh, Zenlist anyway for sellers, because sellers should have it too. Because guess what? The, I figured this out when I was doing this landing page and I realized, well, wait a second, I still would have to send them a CMA. This isn't automated. But if I send them the CMA, don't I still want to send them a, a Zenlist? I'm like, well, that's two steps. So I did it all, figured out how to do it all in one step, but we have two different pages for two different messages. And then here's what happens next. You will get, ignore this change of screen for a moment. And I see we had a couple more people join us. Welcome everybody that joined us late, no worries. This is being recorded, right? Yes, I'm recording it. I, Turned off recordings the other day for a reason, but now I've got a mic on. Uh, let's look at this. This is the agent roadmap. This is what our dear friend Tabrin, who will be working with you on individually, is, you know, where are you in this list? And I'm not going to go through the whole list right now, but there's a lot of like I would call agent 101. And we need to get everybody caught up to agent 101 first. But then in agent 201, that's where we're going to start talking about the landing pages. And actually, huh, as of this morning, when Eleni and I finally got this negotiated, landing pages uh, two for items of value, um, that all of this stuff is going to work together because then guess what you're going to do after that? You're going to create a drip campaign. 
So for those of you saying you want to target expireds coming up, what are the two biggest days of the year for expireds? December 31st and January 1st. So we have not that long for you to get in these systems and get it working. The other thing that will be super helpful with this as you do those is that obviously there's no double data entry. They've got the items of value. Now they're going to get the drip campaign from you. That's all set up. You also have a new integration with room view and I need to pull up the instructions. So bear with me a second. I'm going to stop my screen share. Um, I'm going to pull up the instructions for this real quick because Eleni just got this worked out. Some of you saw the picture of Sam, the CEO of room view and Eleni, the COO of wise agent, all these C-suite people. I love it. Um, that we work with. They are the ones that um, we really have been working on getting these integrations. There were more integrations to come too, but I won't even tell you about those yet. All right. One moment while I pull that up. Okay, so let me start my, start my screen share again. And by the way, I know you guys have questions about things and um, I'm not looking at the comments just yet, just because I can't do to, I'm, I've, I've stopped multitasking. It, that never works out well for me. Focus on one task at a time. So this was my back and forth with the Lenny after you know they had gotten together with Sam. And so previously in room view, and again, this is something that Tabron's gonna be like, hey, is room view set up? You know, we go on your LinkedIn and number one, it does not appear you're a real estate agent, we have a problem. But number two, if there's no posting, there's a problem. And LinkedIn is just, it's like the thing that always gets left out. We all post our dinners and our workouts, or at least some of us, it was a hard workout this morning, um, that we, you know, we do that stuff on Instagram. We do it on Facebook. We, we leave LinkedIn out. And yet, where's everybody that's anybody? LinkedIn. They're all on LinkedIn. So room view, I have the integration for you, paid for for you for LinkedIn. And by the way, when you go into room view, you can download the videos that are provided for you there and you can put them in all your other stuff. And there's some that are sized for Insta, uh, some that are sized for Reels, for TikTok. So you don't have to pay for a premium account. Sorry, Sam, if you see this later. Um, <laughs> but we like you a lot. Uh, but we like Lenny a lot too, because Lenny goes, I will get this figured out. So they have the integration live. And this is going to be very familiar. This is the, these easy steps. Room view, the exit tools, and cloud CMA interact with only one CRM in the world. I'm not that dumb, guys. This is where we I wanted to be a year ago with this, this system. It just took me a while to really get us there because every integration partner has to play well. But Eleni has the support team, the, the behind-the-scenes team, those design people that do this. So the API key, it's the same thing. You go to settings integrations, and I'll show you in a moment, um, settings integrations within WiseAgent, and then you are going to add your API key from WiseAgent to RoomView the same way that you did for your exit realty tools. And if you're going, I don't know what the heck you're talking about, don't worry about it, you're not alone. Um, a, there's a video of Emizan, sorry, it's a video, but we will walk you through all the steps to that. It is a super easy video. I will post this into the coaching blog right now. The reason why I'm going to do that right now is there's a couple people. Linda called me out on this. Linda, 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 thank you for doing that. Linda was like, um, you said that was in the coaching blog and it's not there. There's a couple things that need to be taken out of the coaching blog and a couple things that need to be added. When you don't see something in the coaching blog that you're like, shouldn't that be in the coaching blog? Tell that to Tabron. Tabron has access to the coaching blog as an admin. He is going to be working with me on kind of cleaning that space up. But if you don't even know what the coaching blog is, go to teamlibrary.com again, and you click down to the private coaching blog. If you don't have access, um, I do have it automated. So you get access to it the minute that you sign up for the exit private office Facebook group. But not everybody's in that either. Excuse that. Private, I know, see, we're catching people. As we, every time I'm in person with you guys, I catch, we catch something. So I love it. So if you go into the coaching blog and you type in room view or any other search feature, any other search in that little eyeglass thing, you'll pull up 
the topics for that. I try not to talk too much about a specific to topic. And there's some that it's like, I need to clean up the old stuff in there. We only need the freshest and newest. When you see the most recent post or the one that has a lot of comments in it, that's probably the one with the chain of information. So this was the Exit Realty Room View training that we did back on May 17th. There is, I believe, another one after that that I did not post, so I'll probably need to get that in here as well. But let me go ahead and post this in the... Oh, there's the new one. Look at me actually doing what I said for once. Okay. Then we're going to put in this new thing about the Eleni, the wise agent integration. So then that way you've got that video as well. So then, so then what that so then what that's going to happen is again no double data entry. So if somebody goes on your room view, and I'm going to use my client as an example here, um, past client of mine, which was kind of odd that this happened because he just closed on this place. Um, Tabern, you may remember this client, Ken. So Ken put his address in. This is a post on LinkedIn that then he responded to. This is the third one I've gotten like this, and I have to tell you where these went not into my CRM because we didn't have the integration yet. They sat in my inbox. This is the danger of do posting things and not having uh, a live integration. So that's why we did this is that now all this information goes straight into Wise Agent. Uh, but there's things that when you look at RoomView, when it posts to LinkedIn or you're reposting it elsewhere, there's a lot of call to action. But guess what? The call to action at this point sends it to your email. And I'm like, mm, yeah, it'll still send it to your email. But it's going to send it to Wise Agent too, which syncs up to your phone and everywhere else. So it's like, this is a ongoing live thing for you. So that is, that's what I wanted to show you on room view. We can have lots of follow-up on that. I'm going to do one more thing. And it's for a few of you, I think why you came here today, but I wanted to trick you to get here to listen to some other stuff first. And that is the letter of the heart. So I have a couple letter of the heart samples. Let's see first, actually, if I have any in the coaching blog for you. So the letter of the heart, the reason why I'm not 100% crazy about the idea of sending it out now at Thanksgiving versus later is, you know, we have some, some, some stuff to talk about right now. We have the solar panel thing. We have the, um, the little festival, uh, shopping festival next weekend. There's some cool stuff. Guess what we have around the ho the actual holidays? Absolutely nothing. Because we're not going to host events during the holidays. You may personally, I am doing a uh, thing for my closest VIPs uh, at my house, a little zoo lights party that I do every, every year. You may do something like that as well. But if you're not doing that, and even if you are, what are you going to say to the general population? I don't think necessarily today is the best day to, to send this out but I want you to start working on it now. So there are two different letter of the heart samples already in here. And I believe I wrote one last year. I don't know whether I sent it out or not, uh, but I wrote one. I know I sent it to my closest friends, um, but I sent it like, I think as a text. That's maybe not the best way to do it. I'm thinking these could be personal notes to people's homes, which means you've got what, 30 days, 20 days to clean up the database, to figure out who you've got a home address for. But I wanted to pull these up so you could see samples. Uh, Charles Grandison from our office was nice enough to share his with us when he wrote this. So let me go ahead and open that up for us. It will take probably a moment. And then I'm going to search while that's loading to see if, oh, there it is. I've downloaded it three times, which is not, not the brightest someday. So what is a letter of the heart? It is not a sales pitch. You shouldn't even bring up your real estate business in it, except maybe in the last line. It is a holiday letter, a Christmas letter for some of you of that faith, whatever faith you are. Um, you may have been taught as a child to write these, or you may have received these, you know, in the mail over the years. It is a lost art. And what is it? It talks about family, occupation, recreation, dreams. It is a summary of your year. Last year, um, I talked about the marathon. I talked about last year's marathon. I talked about my mom getting sick um, and getting a little better after that talked about um, getting my house redone and how stressful that was, some goals I had for the new year. And at the bottom, as I said, I, th I was thankful for my best year in real estate. It was one sentence. It was one sentence. Thank you for your referrals. Not 
do you want to buy with me or sell with me? Not exit realty is great or Nick is the worst coach ever. That you can send you can send that letter to me directly. I will burn it. Uh, <laughs> um, look at this. Just a great letter. Life is good. We have a lot to be thankful for. It's also a time to kind of be honest about if something went wrong in the year. Um, I mentioned that last year was like probably a, a come to, well, we talk about Christmas, come to Jesus moment for me that I was like, I made never made more money. I was never less happy than last year. This year I made less money and was happier. So you know what happens? You can share in this sickness, health. Um, I will not share who tells me what, but some of you have told me what's going to be or what could be in your letter this year. And some of it, it's like family members that are sick. You've struggled with stuff. Um, some of them get very, very deep and personal. So Charles shared his. There's another sample in here as well. And I'll see if I can pull mine up for you as well. But these are right in the coaching blog. You just type in letter of the heart in the search. And so this one's called adversity. And this is a very personal one. Some of you know Chad Lubin. He's a lender. He is also a core coach. Um, really great guy. And Chad had some really struggle moments. Um, and so his, he did send out, you notice it's got a little Thanksgiving theme around it. Um, again, I'm going to focus on value event-wise for the next two weeks myself. If you don't want to do that and you want to go dive into this letter, go dive into the letter. I love it. If you would like me to review your letter, set up a coaching session with me. I have ample time to do this with you. If there's a time that does not work, if none of my times work, let me know and I will do it with you somewhere else. So we have options for that. Um, if you don't want to talk to me at all, I can't help you, I guess. Um, you can also talk to Tabron. Tabron is has been in all of my systems since day one. Tabron, how long have you worked here? Just over two years. And, you know, always on my team. Also kind of, you know, helped Laura out with quite a few things. He's kind of seen how the office, every system in the office works, done his own deals, gotten great reviews from his own clients. My clients love him. Um, but if he understands the systems and knows them, he's a great backup for you. But his job is to engage you. He's going to be reaching out to you because quite frankly, I'm already here for you at this quote unquote level of experience. Um, I'm coached by CORE, which is a ton of money every month. I graduated from their coaching program years ago and continue to see so much value in it. I'm a Buffini master certified coach. You don't need to go anywhere else for coaching, but Tabron's going to track you down to make sure you know it's here. And if, you, or if you're having some sort of you know, issue that you don't want to tell me about or that you need additional time with, you've got a backup now. So congratulations to Tabron and thank you all that come and share with me what's going on in your world, what is not working for you, what you need more help on, because this is the type of conversation we need to have in order to continue to grow. I can't read your minds. And I cannot track each one of you individually down. And if you are trying to track me down, you know, Laura, Angela, Adriana, Eve, and Tabron all have my personal schedule. So they know when my therapy appointment is, if I've got to go to the doctor to get checked up, if I'm going home to see my mom, you know, they know, they know where I am. And so you can track me down. You've got the live link to schedule with me um, right here is literally scheduled time with Nick. That also works with your recruits. Uh, Rita Kelly, thank you for sending someone my way that really cool guy she sent to me that um, is, is gonna be just, I think an amazing agent with us. A um, couple of the, I'm trying to think who else sent me people this week uh, that I met with, but let me just one more second. I wanna show you, you know, in the coming weeks, if you go into the first week of December uh, or into, look at this on two, Monday, Tuesday, Lots of open time, guys. I may even open up that time Thursday because I don't really care whether I look decent for the Casino Royale night. Um, you have your, the next week after that is wide open, except to, hey, except to go to uh, Natasha's uh, amazing uh, inauguration as the uh, WCR president uh, for the Chicago Association, Association of Realtors Women's Council. That, so we have so much gap in time that you can set up with me to work on this stuff. I would... I don't want to say beg, but I'm going to ask you very nicely, but then Tabor's going to follow up with you very nicely if we're not hearing from you to see where we can help. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up to questions. Um, Olivia, thank you. I agree. Will we, uh, Abraham, will you have something on how to effectively create a CMA? 
Um, yes. So I did a CMA right in the coaching blog last, was it last night or two nights ago for Jasmine? I've got a couple samples in there, but absolutely. Um, you know, Abraham is just starting and already doing great, already on buyer appointments. If you have, so this is for everybody. If you have a problem property that isn't selling, you, you can sit with me on a Zoom and I'll walk you through. Um, Janet, who just came back to us, I'm so excited. Janet Cap with us, did amazing. Uh, and uh, thought there was a greener pasture and came back. We're delighted that she's back. And first thing we did was we sat down, we looked at her listings and like, ooh, I got some ideas for you on these. And you, know, you don't have to take my advice, but a lot of times it's how to, how to have that conversation with the seller. Um, Cheryl Morlock and I had a great conversation with a seller that uh, you know we put the property on the market less than a month ago. And now I'm realizing, yeah, the comps from six months ago told us it could be worth X, but now because of nobody can afford what they could six months ago, you got to price it south of those comps by about 5%. I talked about that uh, in the coaching blog when I was uh, showing everybody Jasmine's. So I can do a one-on-one -on -one small group Casino Royale is not a event for um, the office. I wish I could afford to send everyone a ticket. Um, if you are in the top, if you capped, you already have an invitation from me for uh, Natasha's event on the 6th. If that does not get filled up from those cappers, we are going to go back to the people that are regularly engaged with me. So Abraham, you, if you want to come to that, I would love to see you there. Because Abraham, by the way, guys, that's another person that really is very engaged, newer, but coming from the corporate world, he's like, I need a manual. I need a checklist. Tabern was the same way. Tabern goes, I need a manual. I need a checklist because he, yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, but I, lo I love this, guys. I love the conversation. I don't see any other questions at this point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get scheduled the landing page work so that I can get it uh, ready for you get those. So for on your side, don't worry about the landing pages today. That is not your highest and best use of your time. Your highest and best use of your time is two things. Number one, make sure that all your people are in your wise agent so that you can go in. And I would recommend this. If you want to send them a wise text, you know, guys, I don't know about that for the holiday. I think that's kind of cheap. I think that's cheap. Um, you know, maybe if you have 2000 people in there, I think I'm going to go through my past clients and text them individually, maybe, but especially the ones that I'm like, man, I need to catch up with them. The ones that I see constantly or that I'm going to Friendsgiving with, also happy Friendsgiving, but the ones that <laughs> I might put this on YouTube, <laughs> sorry guys, um, but the ones I don't see regularly, and there's a lot of people that I lost touch with during the pandemic and after, you know, we all got busy. Some people, you know, had health issues or decided to, you know, really kind of reprioritize their life. So those are the people that I'm going to reach out to with a personal text, but you can do a wise text. It's wise text is better than no text, but if you've never wise texted them before and you're sending them your first wise text as a happy Thanksgiving, I think you really need to, at the beginning of that, say, hey, this is Nick. I'm on my marketing and events hotline, but I just wanted to, I'm going to be sending you some more in, invites through this in the new year, but I just wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. If you're not comfortable with that, you're kind of like me, we were like, well, that might not be the most best thing. And you don't have hundreds of past clients or VIPs, send them individual from your cell phone text, but then go in and you actually note what you told them. And I'm going to show you that real quick, how you do that is the same way that I make notes when I have conversations with you guys now. So what I do is when I, reach out and send somebody a, a or have a coaching session with you i do a note on that now and then i send you the note so it's not like me going well tavern is not doing what he's supposed to we go in and we literally talk about what exactly you're going to do or that i need to help you with for the next exactly martin for the next session so i'll just real quick i'll i'll show you what i'm working on with nick g you know talking about um how to look up expireds working in um going into phone records downloading forewarn then we were talking about link tree setting up his first uh incentive program for the firefighters that he's in relationship with working on his just sold cards uh he's the one that figured out that you could partner with a lender on it so kudos to nick g 
Um, he created a landing page. So this is the type of stuff going through step by step. Uh, that's what I do with you guys. What you can do with your clients is, hey, I had a great phone call or I wish them a happy Thanksgiving. If you do a wise text, it does send that it does record that they got a text from you. So it does let you know that you did that. But you know, again, is that the is that the best way to do it? Just do it somehow. And I'm here to coach you on that. So any anything else that you guys want to talk about today? I know this was a lot of content and a lot of things to do, but focus on the holiday things. And I think you'll be great with this. Anything you guys need before we let you go? Going once, going twice. Send me details. Oh, <laughs> yes, Abraham, I will let you know where we're meeting tomorrow. I won't have you driving around all, <laughs> all around everywhere <laughs> to work with me. All right, guys, thank you very much. We appreciate you. And uh, I will get this probably on YouTube. I don't think we said anything too terrible, general public. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.